one of the foundations of our men's basketball program back in 1995-96. Uh, Kelly was an experienced collegiate player, but what he was unique about Kelly that he brought to the table was his compassion for others and his hard work and dedication. Also what made Kelly unique was his compassion for others. He was very, very interested in bringing others along and raising their level without uh, sounding very verbose in doing so. He was actually very committed to each other on the team. Aside from his phenomenal statistics as a rebounder, as a 5'10", 5'11", guard, we played him in the post, he was in the open court, we played him at point guard, he was a shooting guard, he led us in rebounding, he was tremendously dynamic on the court. What made him a great, great player was what he gave to others. But what most impressed me too was his perseverance in his academic endeavors. Kelly actually came to us as a transfer and part of the reason was the institution he was at before was limiting him on what he could major in. And I think Stevenson, when, and back then it was Villa Julie, was such a great fit for him. Goals were put in front of him and he could go out and get them. And people here, Chip Rouse and Chris Noya, among others, um, were really supportive in him achieving whatever he wanted to achieve. Kelly deserves this award simply because he taught a very young athletic program in both basketball and lacrosse. Lacrosse is a dual sport athlete. How to compete, how to train, and how to lead. He brought players along with him to lift. He brought players along to work out. And he brought players along in their confidence and their belief that they could do anything that was in front of them. He's deserving of this for helping show Villa Julie and Stevenson the way.